Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Eat Cosmetic CC Plus uh, foundation. So I used to have the original one, which I love, but I ran out. And instead of buying the original one, I thought I would try the new one, which is Illumination, so it's supposed to be more glowy. So it's a color correcting, illuminating, full coverage cream, plus anti-aging hydrated serum hydrating sorry um and it has spf 50 uva and uvb which is very good so you don't have to apply uh sunscreen before so i'm very excited to try that product so i took the shade light because that's that was my shade uh for the other cc plus foundation so, so there you have the whole shade range they only have seven shades which is not much at all compared to other brands but you can see that they have the same amount of light shades and darker shades, which I think is great. And at least they are inclusive of all skin colors. And that's not the case of other brands, which I think is great. It retails for £30 and I bought it on Selfridges. You can also buy it on It Cosmetics and I don't really know which other places you can find it. Um, so it looks like this. It has a pump. I really like the packaging because it's travel friendly it's not too big it's not glass it still looks very nice i like the packaging um the original cc cream uh, from eat cosmetic was silver this one is like um a light pink i really like it to me it doesn't look cheap at all so my skin is prepped as usual i exfoliated i, I applied a toner i moisturized with my Ambriolis Thick Rem Concentrate because I love this uh, moisturizer. As you can see, I've used most of it and I really like it. So it's been um, sinking into my skin for a little bit now. So to make sure the, the application of the foundation, you know, is not altered because I have like product sitting on my skin, um, it should be okay. I'm going to try with a brush and also with a sponge that I have here. Um, so yeah, let's get started. On the box it says one or two pumps, so that's what I'm going to do. One, two, and it smells uh, like the first one. Yeah, the, it smells like um orangey, citrusy scent, which, has re which I really like. So I'm going to dot it. I'm going to do first half of my face so we can see a, so we can make a comparison. Taking this Real Technique sponge, uh, I don't remember which collection it's from, but we'll link it down below. It looks like a, a ball, but with like a dome. I like it. I'm going to just blend. Okay, first thing, it's very easy to blend. I hope you can see. Oh, I like that sponge. Taking it on my neck a little bit. Before and after, you can see I have some redness because I just exfoliated really before making this video. So my skin is still a bit red, but you can see that it really counteracted the redness. Here, I hope you can see how dewy my skin is. It is very dewy. You can really see there. Um, I really like it. It's barely noticeable that I have something on the skin, to be honest. That's what I love about this foundation. Um, to be honest, I don't see a massive difference between this one and the original one. Uh, when it comes to consistency, the smell is the same, it feels the same on the skin. Um, maybe this one is a bit more glowy, but uh, for now, at least, I don't see um, a massive difference. And it's, it's very buildable. Uh, I applied two layers. I still have some on my hand. I applied two pumps. I still have some on my hand and I applied two layers here uh, because the redness was still peeking through because it's quite red. Usually I'm not that red there. 
uh, but it really um, it really counteracted that and also uh, the side of my nose tends to get red and you can't see it anymore I love the coverage um, yeah um, I love it but I know I was going to love it because I love the original uh, CC cream from Eat Cosmetics so now what I'm going to do I'm going to be doing the other side of my face but with a brush um, and I can't find my favorite like foundation brush so I'm going to be using this one by Real Techniques so I'm going to apply another pump onto my hand because I don't have much left there you go and taking it I'm just I'm applying it like that This foundation is great for on the go because it doesn't need much work. It blends so quickly and effortlessly. That's what I like. And it looks stunning on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. You can build it, build it up. I think it's the perfect foundation for everyone. Even if you have um, oily skin, I would uh, recommend this foundation. Just set it into place. I used to have very oily skin and then therefore I would buy foundations for oily skin and what I noticed is that my face would look so much more cakey and more oily throughout the day that's what I don't like so I stopped after noticing that I've stopped buying products for oily skin in general because when I was oily I would buy uh, moisturizers for oily skin and all that and my skin you know it wasn't helping my skin my skin wasn't better it even made it worse so I stopped and you have to realize if you have oily skin that you need you still need to moisturize it or everything don't be scared of oils obviously if you're very oily don't apply too many oils on your face right but like in the night if you apply a little bit it's good for your skin and please don't skip moisturizer because you need to moisturize your skin even if you're oily so let's see how it looks with the brush If I'm honest with you, it looks just as good with the brush. Um, I like, I still like, it doesn't really have streaks, maybe a little bit. So I'm going back with my Real Technique sponge. But my face is so glowy and it doesn't look like I'm wearing any um, foundation. I love it. Uh, so far, I'm adoring this foundation. It's very glowy, but I don't look like super oily. I just look like very glowy. So um, I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm applying the Fit Me Concealer. I'm just brightening up my under eye. Taking the same Real Technique sponge, which is really good because of the dome shape. It's really easy to get into the little clevises, like the inner corner and all that. I like it. Using my Laura Mercier because I feel like a lot of people have that powder. So. Uh, I think it's a good powder to use to set my foundation because most people have it, I think. I'm, go I'm not going to apply too much, just under my eyes. T-zone. Here, because we don't want to shine here. Well, actually, I'm going to set pretty much everything. I'm going to leave my cheeks bare because I'm going to, cre I'm going to cream contour. Taking my Master V Contour stick by Maybelline. I'm just going to slightly contour. Just want to see uh, how it sits on top of the foundation. It's not moving around the foundation. Looking very good. You can see I still have some kind of glow on my face. Which is great because it's supposed to be an illuminating powder. Um, I didn't apply too much powder, but I did set all my face with the Laura Mercier powder. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be right back at the end to conclude on this video and what are my thoughts on this foundation once I've applied everything. And yeah, I'll see you when I'm finished with that. So I finished my makeup and I like how 
it turned out so i highly recommend this product because it's perfect for summer because it's so glowy but the foundation didn't move around and i've had it on my face for uh an hour now because i did my makeup and i filmed another video um yeah it's 30 pounds it might be a bit pricey but i love how it looks and it has spf so it's a two product in one um yeah i don't have anything bad to say about that product it's buildable it smells nice it has skincare in it it's just perfect for everyone regardless of your skin type so that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and also uh, turn on the bell that would help me out and i'll see you in my next video bye